It's one of the busiest streets in the heart of Johannesburg, an economic hotspot. But this weekend, it's not business as usual for those living and working on this stretch of road. The blast that ripped through this tarred road has halted most economic activity. Some businesses are crippled and many are still closed. This is our shop where we got problems since on Wednesday. I just want the government to do something for us, at least to, to, to talk to them, at least they can start working. Because we can't keep closing the shop because we have families to feed. They must just think of the poor. We are so worried and we can't even think when business will return to normal. For those who live in the area, the trauma is still fresh. They face mounting anxiety as they fear a secondary explosion might occur. We don't feel comfortable for now because uh, this explosion that it happens here, we don't know is it now stopped or it's going to keep continue to happen. Food shortages, another concern. We don't have electricity, we don't have water. Uh, since the gas explosion, we haven't been told what's happening. Water and electricity infrastructure is severely impacted, leaving many in the dark. Water tankers serve as an interim plan. The lack of electricity during the cold spell has deepened the plight of these residents. We will be basically moving in immediately when we get the clarity or clear that we can basically move in. Fortunately, we were told that um, the, 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 the gas levels have actually dropped significantly and uh, immediately when they are below 5%, we can be able to basically uh, get our teams in to ensure that we start with the work. Law enforcement remains on high alert. Lelenungoy Street, better known as Bree Street, remains closed off to traffic. At the present moment, everything is in order as law enforcement has cordoned off the affected area. Mop-up operations continue while Ekoli guests spent most of Saturday morning assessing their servitude pipelines. Full reports into their investigations will be released soon. While some experts and the Department of Mineral and Resources have dismissed allegations that the explosion might be linked to illegal miners or Zamazamas, the conspiracies continue. They were saying on a weekly basis they do hear vibration in the road and they are not convinced that the government is being honest with them and that they are pretty much um sound that uh it's the zama zamas that are digging under the roads meanwhile residents and businesses in the section of this town might be in for a long stretch before normality is restored on this disaster stricken road the city of johannesburg says it might take months before the road is completely restored and the setback for businesses in the area could put a dent in the city's GDP and job security. Patricia Fasakhe, CBC News, in Johannesburg.